Hi everyone. Do you want to practice making website on your computer for free? Then Zamp is a great solution. Zamp lets you make website on your computer without buying a domain name and a hosting package. In this video training, I will show you how we can easily install Zamp server on our Windows computer. So, let's get started. Well, friends, open up your favorite browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and on the address bar, search for ZAMP server. Hit enter. Well, friends, the first result is the ZAMP official website, apacyfriends.org. And here you can see download ZAMP. Just click on this first link. It will send us to this download phase. From here, we can download the latest version of ZAMP server. And here you can see ZAMP for Windows, the current version number and in this version we are going to get PSP 8.0.28. Okay friends, I'm just going to install the latest version. So here you can see this has the latest PSP version 8.2.4. So I'm just going to install this. So click on this download button and the download process will start automatically. Here you can see on my browser, it is downloading. Well friends, the download process is complete. Once the download is complete, you can go to all downloads. And here it is. Or you can go to your download directory. I'm just going to navigate to downloads. Here it is. And here goes the downloaded file. Well friends, by now we could successfully download our ZAM server. Now. It's time to install this ZAMP server. Okay, friends, to install this ZAMP server, just double click on this downloaded file to launch the ZAMP server installer. I'm just going to double click on it. Here it is. It wants us to permit the installation. Okay, so click on the Yes button. Click OK. And here it is. So, friends, I'm just going to minimize this and click next. And here goes all the components. You can see select components. In the server end, it will install Apache by default, MySQL, FileZilla, FTP server. On the programming language side, it will install PHP Perl. Also, it will install PHP MyAdmin. Okay. I'm just going to select all by default. So it's time to click next. And here it is. This part is important. From here, you can select the folder where the XAMPP server will be installed. By default, it will be installed in the C drive and it will create a XAMPP folder. But if you would like to change it, just over there, you can see a folder icon. Click on it. And from here, you can change the directory where you would like to install. I have two drivers. C and D. If I want, I can also install in the D drive. But I'm not going to do that. Just I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm just going to leave it default. So finally, hit next. Okay, friends. Here goes the language option. You can select English or Dutch. But as an international language, I'm going to select English. Okay, hit next. And it's ready to install. So hit next again and it's going to be installing. That's fine. Okay, friends. Now it wants access. So we are going to allow the access. Just click here, allow access. It's almost done. Okay, here you can see completing the XAMPP setup wizards. And do you want to start the control panel now? If you want, then leave it checked. If you don't want, just uncheck it. Just leave it checked. And now I'm going to click finish. And it will automatically install the XAMPP control panel. Here you can see this is the XAMPP control panel. If you don't see it popped up, you can also run from the source. Okay, I'm just going to close here. And now I'm going to search here with Jam. 
and here you can see the control panel just click on it it will open up here but friends here you can see we have the services listed here apache mysql filezilla but these packages are not running at the moment so here you can see a button called start so to run the apache web server click on this start button and once you can see it is green and the port number over here that means this web server is running and we need another service mysql database as we are going to build dynamic application database driven application so we need database click start and you can see mysql database is running okay friends let's check whether the jam server is installed perfectly okay friends open up the browser and here on the address bar i'm going to type http clone slash slash localhost and i'm going to hit enter and here you can see localhost slash dashboard and xamp apache mariadb php and Perl all are installed perfectly here you can see php admin just click over here and it will send you to the php my admin i'm just going to get back and here it is okay friends so by this time we could successfully install the xamp server okay let's see how we can write php code where is the server root directory okay to get the root directory do you remember we installed the xamp server on the c drive so click over the this computer icon and here you can see local disk c drive and click on it and here you can see xamp do you remember we installed it on the c drive so go inside the xamp folder and here you can see a lots of files and folders but we are going to look for stdocs here it is stdocs it is the root directory or root folder of a server if you would like to install any application in the c, c panel then you will find public underscore html and that will be the root directory or root folder for server and in case of xamp stdocs is the root folder so we'll have to go inside this folder just double click on it and here we'll write php code and if we create any folder here that will be like a domain name so i'm just going to type test php or test site i'm sorry test site then this is like a website okay on the browser we have write a local host okay let me type again http clone slash slash local host and add a forward slash and name of the folder that was test site okay if i do not make mistake that is test site so here goes that folder name i'm going to hit enter okay go advance proceed localhost and here it is the public directory and i'm going to open up here and go inside test site here as we don't have anything that's why on the browser it shows the empty directory okay let's create a php file okay i'm just going to right click and create a php file okay i'm just going to open it and write php code inside i'm just going to write echo double quotation semicolon and inside here hello world 
now i'm just going to save the file as php okay so i'm just going to name it index and from the file type i'm just going to select all and after that name php okay here you can see index.php i'm going to hit save and the file is saved here here it is index i'm just going to delete it okay now i'm just going to reload this page and here you can see hello world okay at the end i didn't write the file name because index is the default file for a web server if a web server find index.html index.php then they run the file we don't need to type the file name after it like index dot php we don't need to write it because it shows the same result so i'm just going to write another function here i'm going to open up it open with okay notepad plus plus okay i'm just going to write here a function that is php info enter i'm going to save it okay close the file now here you can see hello world now it will show the php version so friends you see the proof that we could successfully install xam server and we can write php code okay so congratulations now you are free to build a dynamic website using php mysql on your computer and i believe you could learn how to install xam server watching this video if this video helped you don't forget to like this video leave your comment in the comment box and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this so thank you for watching hope to see you again with a new video